My name is Maxwell Luke, and today I'll be going to Onstage Dance Studio to interview my mentor, Shana Woods. Shana's been my mentor ever since I started dancing about four years ago. She has helped me grow not only as a dancer, but also as a person. And I'm really excited to find out what her call to adventure was. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, action. This is Onstage Dance Studio. Dance studio for boys and girls ages 2 to 17, uh, where we teach dance education and life lessons. My name is Shana Wood and I'm 25 years old. So when did you receive your call to adventure and what was it? So the first time I received my call to adventure was when I was 17 years old working with my mentor, Joel Seaman. Um, I was his assistant and I realized quite quickly that teaching dance is much more than just fun, but a career choice. The second time that I had my call to adventure was uh, much older, actually last year, when I started to see my passion in the students that I teach. Was that the first time you received a call to adventure and did you accept your first call to adventure? Um, the first time was a, a hesitated choice. I went to university for a couple years and uh, put my call to adventure off. But while I was in university, I continued to teach. Um, and shortly after that, I realized that it was my true passion and my call to adventure. Did your call to adventure affect your life? And how would it be different if you hadn't accepted? Um, currently, my life is quite wonderful. I am working with my dream job and my call to adventure worked out quite nicely. Um, I'm currently in the best place that I could be. My life would be very different if I chose a different career path. Um, I don't think I would be involved in dance. I would most likely be teaching school instead. Um, my family inspires me to be the best human that I can be and my students inspire me to pursue my dreams because every time I come to the studio, um, I feel like I'm the best person that I can be. What advice would you give to someone who's looking for their call to adventure? Um, my advice comes from a mentor of my own um, to find a career choice that keeps you creative, keeps you active and makes you money. If you can find something that involves all of those things, you're going to lead the best life that you can. Um, and I'm lucky enough to currently be doing that. So my dance career started a long time ago, um, but it was a very slow start. I started uh, when I was three years old. My parents put me in dance and then quickly took me out of it because I was too hyperactive and put me in hockey instead. So I did hockey. I did baseball, I did soccer, I did swimming, I played rugby, I did every other sport. Um, and then when I was 12 years old, I decided to come back to dance and quickly fell in love with it and canceled all my other plans and continued to dance um, from then on. And from there, I graduated from onstage, went to university, taught in university and taught at onstage. Um, and six years later, here I am still teaching and living my dream. I admire Shana. She is my mentor, and I have learned so much from her over the years. I'm glad I was given this opportunity to interview her and get to know her better. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.